Right, so this is this is one that I've been particularly excited about. Um, it is my unboxing video for my full solar kit. I've accumulated everything that I need to have and I'm going to unpack everything here with you um, and kind of go over what it is I got and why I got it all. Right. These are two 200 watt solar panels. I've got 200 amp hour batteries and then I've got a MPPT solar controller from P Ever, that's the P Ever Tracer series. Power inverter, pure sine wave, and that one is 500 watts. Battery connectors, the solar panel connector, so you can take two panels and make them in parallel. About five meters of cable for the to connect the solar panels, and then I've got various brackets for each thing. So the Solar charger that I went for, it's that Ever MPPT um, solar charger. But when you when you're looking at your solar chargers, there's those two types. You got your MPPT, which is this one, is the more expensive one, and then you've got pulse width modulation one. So that one is the cheaper of the two, and I think you can get away with kind of it for a small system. Um, I really wanted to be able to kind of scale as well as um, keep an eye on like how things are performing, so that's why I went with this. Um, the, MP, the difference between the MPPT and the um, pulse width modulation ones is that the MPPT is much more efficient. From what I understand, is it, it's better at managing um, the too much voltage. So if you've got too much voltage coming into your um, solar charger from the panels, it turns that into amps and then um, more efficiently loads your batteries up. I hope that was correct. Yeah, but essentially this one's more efficient than a cheaper one. Um, makes, makes a bit of sense. The other thing that I went for with this, but I haven't bought it yet, just because I don't have Wi-Fi down there, is that you can get a little connector to connect this to Wi-Fi and do some data um, storage and that kind of thing. So really excited about it because I love my stats. Inverter. I went with 500 watts inverter. Obviously, we can change that later date. At the moment, I'm only going to use 30 watts, so it's pointless going any bigger. Um, yeah, I guess let's get into opening everything. Things are super heavy. Twelve volt, hundred amp hours, gel deep cycle battery. For so this is the company that I got everything from. Sunny Tech in um, in Hamilton. So not much to see there, I guess. With that the side. All right. So this is that MPVT. Solar charger. Heaps of stuff on there that I just don't even. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so this is the the forty amp one. Um, it took me kind of a while to figure out which. Um, which controller should get, you know, you get 10, 20, 30, 40, I think it goes all the way up to 80. The thing is that you take the amount of watts that your solar panels have, so I've got 400 watts of solar power, and you divide that by 12, which is your voltage, and that gives you how many amps potentially that this could draw, or that could come through the machine. So that would give me about 33.3, um, so I think I've got a 40 amp one. Nice and small, nondescript brand cables. I guess that's what's connected. Fuses. 
Um, off. USB charger. Sweet. Cool. Right, so panel time. Hopefully they're legit. Okay, so 200 watts. 18.5 volts is going to come out of it and then 10.8 amps I should end up with around around 30 amps of power which is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for you might lose a bit you know in efficiency and the weather is not very great but but yeah that's probably all the fuses and brains I won't even touch that So now that everything's unpacked, I'll do a, a test setup so that I make sure that I've got everything right. Um, the weather's not fantastic, but it's probably the best time to kind of test it so you can see what the low range of, of your voltage is going to be. Um, so just a quick recap before I go into putting everything together. I'm going to wire these two batteries in parallel, so that's positive to positive. And negative to negative, I'm gonna wire that into the microcontroller, I mean the solar controller, and then I'm gonna wire the two solar panels in parallel using the Y connectors on this, um, and then that'll go into the into the charger, and then from the charger I'll go to the inverter with these cables, um, and that'll be the full setup, and then I'll plug something into the inverter. So yeah, that's it. Parallel, parallel, everything into the charger. Make some electricity. Right, so the batteries are full. PV, I think, is the how much voltage is coming off the solar panel. I'm getting five amps in the five amps of charge. All right, so let's connect something to this. I did. Have a little cheeky read of the um, of the thing, and it says that if you got an inverter here, it's connected straight to the battery, and then this load should only be through some 12 volt stuff. So if you're going to be doing your lighting and everything, will come out of there. Um, so yeah, the inverter I'm going to connect straight to the battery, like unlike what I said um, earlier. 
but yeah let's see how we go Sweet. So I'm I'm pretty happy with how that all worked out. It was um, yeah, relatively straightforward in terms of connecting everything up and um, yeah, everything was kind of just plug and play, and it, it got going. So 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 the next step from here, you would have seen with my um, shipping container builder, put little brackets on the roof um, in. Uh, preempting putting on the solar panels. So what I've got to do now is I'm going to be making a steel frame for the solar panels to sit. So they're going to be facing north and I'm going to figure out, I've still got to figure out exactly the right, um, the right angle for them. So they'll be at kind of optimal performance angle and position and then I'll connect everything up inside there. Um, yeah. If there's if there's any you know any questions or uh, any comments that you want to leave, just bang them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can, um, as well as in the next video, the one that I'm busy installing the um, the solar panels to the place. I might see if I can answer any other ones that come up between now and then. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, have a quick squeeze through the. Uh, the rest of the playlist on the whole shipping container build um, bang a little like subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time